TRT Creations presents And welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you along my makeup routine for a day where I have to do an audition, uh, go take a dance class, whatever. So I will increase and layer it depending on what I'm doing that day. I always try to keep it as natural as possible and just kind of enlighten it and fierce it up a bit. You know what I mean? You always gotta add a little bit of in there. Yeah. I love my banner. But yeah, you gotta add a little bit of that Tony the Tiger in there, what's up? And the fact that this is the year of the tiger and the Bengals are going to the Super Bowl and they're definitely gonna win. They're definitely gonna win. I'm not even taking that back. Even if there's a small chance that they might lose, uh-uh, I'm sticking with it. I've been with them my whole life. I've supported them my whole life throughout all the times that they've lost. So I'm gonna stick with them till the end of time. Yeah, what's up? Anyways, let's get to it. Also, you guys notice these curls? These little waves? Guess what? All of that was done by simply just braiding my hair when it was wet and letting it sit like that for a day. Dead serious, and it's, it's been lasting. I haven't done anything to it since. It's like my main product is always Clinique. Uh, oh my God, look! You can see through it! Okay, that's so cool. This is number one, Matt Ivory, because <laughs> I'm a vampire, yeah. I definitely had a Twilight phase, and to be honest, I will never stop loving Twilight. Sometimes I watch it again and I'm like, ooh, cringe, but then also I'm like, oh. I'm by no means a professional makeup artist, so my methods of doing things might not be correct, but they work. That's all I know, all I know is work. I tend to have a pinkish undertone, which, don't get me wrong, is great, but also bothers me sometimes. Especially like when you're dancing and you're gonna sweat anyways, you turn red, but like when you're already naturally, have like a reddish pink undertone and then you're sweating on top of that, you just look like a freaking tomato, I swear. So I like this because I feel like it helps keep me neutral <laughs> as much as possible. I think it's really important to get that point up there because otherwise it just looks like you have fish lips. To brush my eyebrows and oh my God, this is like the most satisfying thing on earth. This is like more satisfying than when you like Q-tip your ears, I promise you. Like, and let me tell you, this right here, and when you Q-tip your ears, that's, that's better than sex, 100%, 100%. Who needs a man when you can brush your eyebrows and Q-tip your ears? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Sorry, no offense, man, I love y'all, but yeah. I like being by myself and independent. I'm perfectly fine being an old dog and cat lady one day by myself with long silver hair, naked in my own little cottage, and like paint no way. It's like, hello, little birdies, what's up? And being like, alone. Oh. <laughs> I mean, no man trying to change me and make me like this dreams when I should just be living my life. I do eyeshadow now. So I use, this one is my favorite one. It's the LA Girl Nude. And by no means is this video sponsored, but it darn well should be. Listen, all the brands I mentioned right now, you're welcome. You are very welcome for this free advertisement, but you know, next time your girl needs some money, but I'm just saying. Living in New York ain't, ain't cheap, but living in general ain't cheap, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am the person that likes to make a giant mess first and then go back and edit it all. Yeah, that's not right. I've always been told and truly believe the term quality over quantity, but you know, today I was listening to a podcast and they said, well, actually, starting off, you should do quantity over quality just to get used to producing stuff and getting stuff out and getting the work done and just getting used to the work. And then once you're used to it, then you can flip it and make it quality over quantity. And I was like, you know what? That's actually, that is actually the best way to look at it. But like, I'm one of those people where I am a perfectionist, so I prefer quality over quantity. However, whenever you're starting something new, for example, you're not gonna get quality at first. You're not gonna get quality for a long time. And the only way to get quality is by consistently trying and doing it over and over and over again. And then eventually, once you get the feel for it and you start learning certain techniques and things, you start perfecting it, then that's when the quality comes in and that's when you can like refine and build your process more strategically and carefully. But you gotta get moving first. You just gotta get moving. My biggest demon in life is overthinking and procrastination because I'm a perfectionist. But honestly, it, slow, it slows you down. Like the more you overthink, you think you're being strategic, but you're honestly just slowing down. When you, if you would just start trying and putting in the work and the effort, you'll be moving a lot further. Even, when, even with making mistakes, as long as you're moving and trying, you know what I mean, and learning, you're going to go way farther in life. So don't worry about being perfect. Just try. This is a prime example of tangents with TRT while doing my makeup. I'm constantly going on tangents. You know, it's like I have all these points to make inside my head, but 
sometimes I, I just don't have like a straight route to get to those points. I have to take it. I love my brown shades. Yeah, I've always kind of had an obsession with the thoughts of spirits and demons and ghosts and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes I get these feelings where I feel like there is a greater presence around us, whether it be angels or like a darker um, presence. But I think that's the common misconception is I don't really think like spirits and demons, I don't really think they're as bad as some people make them out to be. I think they've just been, they just got the bad rep, you know what I mean? People just said, oh, that's a demon, you know what, let's make it a bad thing. But actually sometimes demons can be really great. And I'll tell you why, because it's like, they're, they're honestly like the misunderstood underdogs of the world, you know what I mean? And I, I have a soft spot for underdogs and people that are constantly misunderstood because sometimes if people would just listen to us and take a chance, they would see that we're almost the same, you know what I mean? They would see that we're not really that different and that we can offer and bring things to the table that others can't. Look at me, I'm relating myself to a demon. Oh, what y'all don't know is I am 50-50 split. <laughs> you feel me? Like for existence, that was not a freaking word. For instance, my anime's there. Look at Black Clover, look at Asta. I'm just saying, like, he might have a demon spirit inside of him. You know what I mean? If you get to the last episode, I don't want to spoil it for y'all, but like, he basically is that kind of example of befriending your demons and using them to do good, you know what I mean? And to show that they're just misunderstood souls that just didn't have it easy in life, but they, instead of things getting into them, they use what they have to their fullest extent and they're constantly working on it. They're constantly improving it. They're constantly trying to just work with what they got. You know what I mean? All my people from Sarasota, y'all know this. At least, I don't know if everyone knows this, but like from my, my generation of Sarasota people, there's this man. He said uh, to this dude in class, the student class was, we were doing, what we were doing, we were doing fifth position. And the student was like, com like complainer was like, oh, this is hard. And the teacher came over and was like, what? Of course it's hard. He's like, you can't just go to Walmart and buy turnouts. I use my head all the time. Like, no, you have to work for it. Also more neutral palettes. Back over this part, right here. Right into that crease. That's what she said. <laughs> right on with this. We're gonna put this up here. This several times throughout this. I put the light here just to keep this bright. My next palette is this one. It's the Cover Girl Overthrown palette. This is my favorite palette to be extra. Oh Lord knows I love being extra. Oh my God. Being extra is my middle name. <laughs> Actually, my middle name is Renee. But since I use Renee as part of my first name, then I guess extra could be my middle name. Tony Renee Extra Taylor. <laughs> What's up? Tony Renee, extra Taylor. Tony Renee, extra Taylor. Tony Renee, extra Taylor. Tony Renee, extra Taylor. Check out my fit. Got my garbage bag shorts to warm up them hips and warm up that lower back. On these days, you just need extra sparkle. Today, we're gonna be extra. 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 Today, we're adding layers. I feel like I sound like Dora. Layer it, kids. We're constantly gonna layer it. Yeah, swipey, no swipey. Swipey, no swipey. Don't be trying to steal my look. <laughs> look, all these kids trying to be me. <laughs> they just mad because they hate me. <laughs> we're gonna put that fear right into their souls. See, we're gonna put them in their place just by looking at it. We're not gonna say anything. We're just gonna look at them and go, get in your place. Yeah. And they sure as hell ain't gonna put us in our place. Because <laughs> our place is on top of them. Go around. Okay. Hey, girls, shake it. You need to shake it when you got eyeliner to shake. Is that his eye? Look at this mascara flying out. Ooh. Girl. Oh my lord. Ooh. <laughs> we ain't even done yet, but we looking flawless. We're gonna clean it up again. Not to here. And we're going to clean this up there. And make it less dark. <laughs> Funny story about this hair has been messed up ever since I want to say like eighth or ninth grade because I accidentally shaved like half of this off and it's never grown back properly ever since. Also over here, these eyebrows never really grew back because I during Nutcracker rehearsal I got hit with a wooden sword and it like sliced my face. And I have a scar here, and these eyebrows never grew back properly. I also have a scar in here. I feel like it doesn't show up as much anymore. But I've had it since I was two because my brother pushed me. He was mad I was playing with his toy tool set. Learn how to share, bro. I fell on the corner of it and cut my eye. And I never got stitches, so that never got fixed. We're gonna gently go in there. And we're trying on. So yeah, we started off simple with the foundation. This took a while. Um, then we went to the lipstick. Then we went to the multiple layers of eyeshadow. Then we went to the eyeliner. And then we went to the mascara and some touch-ups. Thank y'all for joining my makeup routine and listening to me ramble about random If y'all like this video and y'all would like to see more things of like, if you guys like this kind of content, let me know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I like.
I like being able to share my life with y'all and take y'all along what I do and my daily things. If there's anything y'all are curious about or questions you have, drop them in the comments below. Like this video up, share it, subscribe, and yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Let me know what y'all want to see. Peace.